Okay. <laughs> that took me forever to set up. All right, so we're finally here. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I'm combining my two favorite style of videos today, which is self-development talk and mukbangs. So if anyone knows me, knows that mukbangs are my shit. I'm starving. I Uber Eats Taco Bell. Okay, so here we get some cinnamon twists. Apparently these are vegan, so I'm really excited. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And we got some fries. I got a... What is this? A soft taco with um, refried bre beans. That's not a soft taco. I got a hard taco with refried beans, tomatoes, and lettuce. I got two of those actually. And then, I'm so excited for this. I got a Crunch Wrap Supreme with refried beans, tomatoes, lettuce. I think that's it. Here I got some pico de gallo, jalapenos, guacamole, and I love my hot sauce. So I got some hot sauce. To drink, I didn't get any drinks from there because, you know, uh, I'm just having Perrier. I also have regular water here. Um, just in case, you never know. Cheers, mate! I'm going to dig in first because I'm very hungry. And then we will move into overcoming imposter syndrome. I'm so excited for my crunch ripe supreme. Alright, let's like open it up and see here. Some hot sauce in there. Oh my god. Okay. Um, stay open, please. Okay, so I'm gonna just slap on. First bite, here we go. By the way, I am eating on my floor in my room because honestly, it's just easier to film. It's quite comfy too. I know it's a Japanese thing to eat on the floor, although I'm not Japanese, but I think it's a very cool tradition. Okay. A little cold now. Cause I waited so long, but <sighs> my 
my favorite vegan mukbanger that I used to watch, Mommy Tang. She used to eat different fast food restaurants and pick out vegan options. And it was really cool because she showed that it is possible to be vegan. Uh. Excuse me. She showed that it was possible to be vegan and still be able to be convenient because obviously the benefit of fast food restaurants is that it's fast. She used to go to Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Chipo I was gonna say Chipotle, Chipotle, and just a variety of fast food restaurants and she would show all the vegan options that you can get. This spite's for you, Mommy Tang. Thank you for inspiring me. I'm gonna take a break from that and try the hard taco. For this one, I'm gonna put some extra pico. in there. Okay. I should have asked for more hot sauce. I go through these like crazy. I think that was it. Cheers. I forgot to take a thumbnail photo. So what I wanted to talk with y'all today is overcoming imposter syndrome. If you don't know what imposter syndrome is, imposter syndrome is feeling like you are not worthy of being, doing, or having something. By my definition, it's feelings of unworthiness, it's having self-doubt, feeling like you don't deserve something. The symptoms of imposter syndrome are very normal. I feel like many people go through imposter syndrome and have symptoms of, of imposter syndrome sometimes without realizing they have it. I wanted to share some of my tips of overcoming those feelings of self-doubt, overcoming those feelings of unworthiness, and overcoming the feelings of feeling like an imposter. So I have my handy dandy book here. These are tips that I personally experienced and applied to overcome imposter syndrome. The biggest area of my life where imposter syndrome was like on high red alert was starting my YouTube channel. My dream of becoming a YouTuber actually started when I was 13 years old. I am now 23 so it's been quite some time, but you know what? I finally did it 10 years later. I uploaded my first YouTube video. One of the reasons that held me back from posting and starting my YouTube channel early was imposter syndrome. A lot of the thoughts that I had and still have sometimes are, am I good enough? I can't do this. Who do I think I am? So on and so forth. If any of you ever had any of these thoughts, it's okay. It's normal. We're human. These feelings help us get out of that comfort zone and it helps us grow to become a better person. It helps us develop new thoughts and new feelings of how we see ourselves and therefore how we see the world. My first tip is to develop unshakable confidence. Confidence is a skill. When developing unshakable confidence, you really gotta ask yourself, truthfully, how do I see myself? Because you'll be very surprised as to how many people see themselves in a very negative light. Confidence is all about really, really loving yourself. Every part of you, every flaw, every imperfection. Before you dive into confidence classes or whatever, analyze first, how do I see myself? And that way you kind of have a guideline of where where your confidence is at and from there work your way up when i was 13 oh boy my confidence was at an all-time low i remember i was walking with a friend in downtown toronto and we got stopped 
to do an interview and the interviewer asked us what is your favorite body part you know what my answer was my hair my freaking hair at the time I, did, I hated my body I hated who I was so the only real thing that I could say was my hair. After 10 years of developing my mindset, developing my confidence, developing who I was, I mean, I can confidently say now that my favorite body part is my whole body. I want you to be able to have that same feeling. Start off with positive affirmations. And when you say it, mean it. Like I know some people who just say a bunch of shit and not actually mean what they're saying. You actually gotta believe it. You gotta feel it. Like when you say I am beautiful, bitch, you better believe you are beautiful. Your words and your feelings, they have to align. They have to connect. If they don't, then it's just empty words. With consistent practice, you will be able to, you will be able to see yourself in a different light. Again, tip number one, develop unshakable confidence. Number two, pay no mind to the minds of others. This is a big one for me. I know about y'all, but I used to care a lot about what others thought of me. That really held me back in a lot of things because I would give away my power by requiring validation from someone else. If someone insults you, Know that their negative view of you is only a reflection of themselves, really. It is a reflection of their own insecurities, their own past conditioning, and their current emotional state. So if someone is just throwing major shade at you, take that shade and send them some love because clearly they need it. I don't think I know how to eat and talk. The third one is believe in yourself or no one else will. When you believe in yourself and you believe in your power and you believe in your truth and you believe in what you stand for, man, that's a game changer. At that point, you don't need, again, the validation of someone else to believe in you to go do something. When you believe in yourself, you feel so unstoppable that you can do anything. So my camera cut out, but tip number four is understand that nobody is perfect, so stop trying to be. Even the greatest athletes still practice and still make mistakes, so rid yourself of the pressure to be perfect and just allow yourself to get better over time with consistent efforts. Tip number five, learn how to accept good-natured compliments. Just by saying thank you, you give the other person the satisfaction of giving a compliment while boosting your own self-esteem and confidence. Okay, last one on the list is don't second-guess yourself. I used to do this a lot with this video, for example. I told myself on Monday that I would film on Tuesday. Tuesday came, and I was like, mm -mm. I'll film on Wednesday. Same thing happened. Wednesday came, I said, oh no, I'll film on Thursday. Thursday came, I said, no, I'm gonna film on Friday. And today's Friday, so I'm now finally filming this video. The one thing that stopped me from filming when I said I would film is I had thoughts of imposter syndrome. When I was looking at the videos that were already on YouTube about imposter syndrome, my imposter syndrome was acting up. I was like, no way. There's already videos of Michelle Obama and Oprah Winfrey talking about imposter syndrome. So why the hell would someone watch my video? I may not be at the level of Michelle Obama or Oprah Winfrey yet, but I understand that all of our experiences are unique and we all have something to bring to the table and someone else can benefit from it. When I hold back my creative flow, I do a disservice not only to myself, but to others that can benefit from my creativity. Anyways, I'm pretty much done eating. I'm kind of full.
These cinnamon twists are so good. Look. Airy. Mmm. Let's just have one more bite for the hell of it. Okay. So I hope some of those tips helped you. And don't feel pressured to apply everything right away. You know, take one or two and just start implementing it in your daily lives. And I hope that you will see the difference over time and yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Leave a comment below, give me your thoughts, give me your feedback. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week and remember, all the best.